Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we'll be learning about how to create data frames with pandas. Okay, in Julia. So let's see how to do that. So there are several ways. So one of the ways is like the, this one, right? Which you read CPS uh, CSV, and then you have a, let's say how much represented value or SL format. Then you read it as a data frame like this. So this is one of the ways you can do that. So that's the perfect way. So in this case, there is a data frame. But let's see how to create it by ourselves. To do that, just go with the sentence is going to be a several ways. So let's first of all create one additionally. So let's make it a DM2, right? So that will complete in what data frame. This is supposed to be capital F. Then we supply additionally. So this is additionally. So this is the label because data frames are two dimensional and yet they are label. So this is the label and then the other one for each for each other of the color. Take off this color. So like it is going to create it for us. So we have our data frames. If I check for the type of it, it's going to tell us that it is a pandas data frame. So that is it. So, so there are several things you can do with this. You can just do whatever we learned in the previous one. Right? Okay. Then DM2. When it's going to work, you can also check for the describe. DM2. And then it's going to work for us. You can do the tail, you can do the count, you can do all of these functionalities. So that's one of the ways of creating a data frame. So apart from creating a data frame, so if you want to select column from this you can also put the data frame from several series that you have in that case you just join them together okay so for example let's say we have this right and we want to add another series to it so there's another way of doing it of let's say let's put this df3 it's going to be the number of hours spent Okay, it's going to be like this. So it's going to take the hours which is the new value we are adding, and then it's using the pole and then the prints which was for this one as our index. So in this, we can just create another data frame. This so it's going to be our third data frame. So DF that has created it has added another one for us using the hours as our index. So df3, right? So you can just do head of df3, and it's going to bring it perfectly for us. So you can be adding it to it. Okay, so let's see some other things you can also do. So with our df2 that we created, we can check for the column. So with the columns, then df2, and it's going to bring out the column for the new salary. So this is it. So if you want to select an object here, you want to move the column, just go with the name of it, right? So df2, and then remember that this is supposed to be double quotation, the same quotation is not going to work. So this, we want to only print the age bars, which is good, with the titanic target data, which we had, because head df. Right? You can also do the same thing. So you just use that one because those ones are created. So you can just make it like df, right, and then age. You want to print all of them for us. For all our age values. Let's say you want to select these three things together. So you can just go with this format. df, right. Then it's going to be the color. And then Depending upon what how you want to maybe I want the age first, and then I want the success. So this is how this is how I want it. But if you do it like this, you don't go to read it. It's supposed to put this entire stuff inside another parenthesis and square bracket before to be able to read it. So it's going to bring it perfectly for us like that. Tip top values based on this one's name, age, and sex. 
that's, a, that's what they did it for us. Perfectly. So you have to do it. If you do it as a single, it's not going to work. In Python, you can just do it like that. DM, then say the name, and then age. Right? If you do it like this in Python, it's going to work. But in Judah, this is the character. This is not a so if I do it like this, you will tell me that it is a character in the draft. Because in Julia, single code are characters. But it's not tell me that it's a invalid of characters. Because you should always remember to put it into the reputation. So if it's confusing, you can just do it this one. Okay, like this, the normal way. But if it's confusing, you can check. I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Then. Yeah, this is a simple way you can also do it and it's also going to print it perfectly but just like in a normal so let's check the lock and the row completions the last one so at this for the i lock and then the lock so those ones are used to select a column or a row rather so if you want to use this one based on the index and then the position so, and then it is for the label, it is under the list and position. So let's try that one. Let's see. So to do that, let's say we have this one. Got it, that's so head. Yeah, let's create the first 10 values from our Kaggle survivor. Right. So we want to select, let's say, Mrs. Lena, which is 2. Let me select this one. So to do that, you can just use the eye or do to select the entire stuff. So that's a zero one two. So it's going to be like this, the end, right? In Python, it's supposed to be like this. Look. This is how it's supposed to be in Python, but I hope it's correct. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like this, okay? This has supposed to be the time, but in Julia we don't do this, so it's going to be like this. Lock. And then DM. Yeah. And then our mini estimate is going to give to two. So it's going to select it for us. So two, this is Alina. It's Lina, not Alina. <laughs> so that's one of the ways. So if you want to select the new group, let's say you want to select. Let's go with the same format of this. So one, two, four. Let's go to select all of the rows for us perfectly. So one for passing this from one to five of each and every of the rows as well as their columns. So that's the way we can do it. We can also do the I lock format. So this I lock and then DF. And your value that you want to supply, your rule that you want to submit, and you're also going to get for us. So that is it for this. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have, if you have any question or contribution, you can just put it inside the comment section so that you can also benefit. Stay blessed.